Hey guys, long time no talk. I hope you're having an amazing week. As many of you guys know, I had a very stressful weekend with my housing situation and I am fully moved into my new apartment now, but I'm still very exhausted, mostly because I pulled several all-nighters in the past week and also because it was Canada Day on Monday, I couldn't find a moving company to help me and I think I racked up like 20 to 30 k steps in a day it was insane so yeah I'm still exhausted um so I hope you guys can understand if I'm a little bit off in the next two weeks anyways enough about that this footage is actually for my plan with me from last week but I didn't get to edit it until now um it is a really pretty pastel mermaid theme I just put down the today headers, the bottom strips, and I also used some mini emoji habit trackers that are meant for the Hobonichi, but I actually realized that they fit perfectly on the top of the Erin Condren. And then for the sidebar, I put down a full box, a habit tracker, and an emoji to mark in that I had to pack up my room for Toronto, and I put down a this week checkbox to write down all of the things that I had to do that week. Then at the bottom of the sidebar, I put down a flag sticker from the kit and a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk to mark in that my sister's boyfriend actually proposed to her this week. On my Instagram photo, when I posted this spread, I actually blurred out that part because my sister follows my Instagram and obviously I didn't want her to know. So yeah, that was super exciting. And then moving on to the actual planning part, I just put down three of the super pretty full boxes. Also, this plan with me only covers Monday through Wednesday because um, for the last half of the week, planning was just not on my mind. So yeah, this plan with me is a little bit incomplete and I'm really sorry about that. But at the end of the video, I did attach some vlog footage from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Anyways, moving on to Monday, I put down a coffee emoji to mark in Coffee Monday and then I stacked up two solid washi strips from the kit and put down a sticker from Granny Tail Plants to mark in that the pre-sale washi tapes arrived. A lot of you guys have been asking and once we ship out all of the pre-sale washies and we make sure that there are no more issues with our remaining stock, then I will be listing all of the overstocks in the shop as regular limited washi release. That didn't really make any sense. So yeah, when I do list the overstocks, I will definitely give you guys a heads up. Also, something else that's super exciting is this Saturday at noon PST, I will be doing a sticker book release and pre-sale. A lot of you guys always ask when my sticker books are coming back in stock, so this is your little warning. Anyways, back to the plan with me, I put down a Facebook and Instagram post icon doodle, and then under Underneath that, I put down a silhouette sticker from Willow Willow Co. to mark in that I wanted to cut the fruits and veggie samplers from last week's new release. Then I put down a half box to mark in that I wanted to do some quality checks and total counts for the washi tapes. It actually took the entire day because I have to count it twice, my dad has to count it twice, and my mom counted it once, and even after we did that, some of our numbers didn't match up, so yeah, it was just this whole fiasco. And then later that night, I did reply to some emails, so I put down a working emoji sticker. Moving on to Tuesday, to mark in that I slept in, I put down this Mermoji sticker, which I think matches the kit super well, and also a sleep in doodle sticker for my shop on top of a washi strip from the kit. Then underneath, I put down a half box from the kit and also a working girl sticker from the Fox and Pip to mark in that I wanted to work at Starbucks. My apartment at home doesn't have AC, so yeah, I always like to go to cafes that have AC and work there. On a little things label, I wrote down that my dad made some soba noodles and then I did some layering. I put down a flag from the kit and also a desktop sticker from Chic Streak Sticker Boutique and a work foiled sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I had to do a bunch of test prints for the new onesie sticker book that's coming out and then I marked in that I wanted to have a relaxing day and do a face mask. So yeah, for Wednesday, I just filled out a full box checklist and I didn't really finish Wednesday either. Again, I'm really sorry about the incomplete week. I did want to get a video out, but yeah, this whole week was just so unexpected. I thought I would just be living in my old place and living life as usual. Anyways, I do hope you love the little vlog clips. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I pack pre-sale orders and also also some of my travels as I moved from Vancouver to Toronto. So yeah, I'm gonna be back later this week with an academic planner plan with me, which I know a lot of you guys have been requesting, so hopefully you guys are excited about that. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!
is already 9.30 and I have to write all of these notes with my colorful gel pens. Right now it is 12.13 a.m. and I just finished writing all of the names. Now I'm going to pack my suitcase for basically the next six months. This is the current situation. I just threw everything that I need to bring in here and I'm gonna sort it out in the morning. I literally have washing my shoes. Um, so yeah. I'm just having some late night coffee and some almonds.